Today we're going to talk about the Cabway One Skull. Now this skull was found in 1921 at the Broken Hill Lead and Zinc Mine. It was found by a Swiss miner called Tom Zwigler. Uh, there was also an African miner with him uh, whose name wasn't recorded. Um, but this uh, miner found this skull here um, at the at the mine uh, back in 1921, and um, at the time Broken Hill was part of North Rhodesia, but that's now become a place called Kabwe in Zambia. The site uh, of the lead mine where the skull was found was uh, destroyed by the mining activities, um, which is a shame because they can't actually date um, the layer that the skull came from, uh, which you know has caused some uh, issues and problems. Um, alongside the cranium they also found an upper jaw that was from another individual, a sacrum or the lower lower back um, bone um, two and a tibia and two femur fragments were discovered at uh, Cabway or Broken Hill too. The skull itself um, is it's from an adult male Homo heidelbergensis at the time it was found, um, it was designated as Homo rhodesiensis. Um, yes, it was a separate species, but since that, um, comparisons with other skulls have been found in other places um, has led to it being de uh, de described as a Homo heidelbergensis. The capacity of the um, skull, or cranial capacity, is 1,230 cubic centimetres, which is sort of the lower level of a modern human um, brain capacity. It was from an extremely robust individual. Uh, it had sloping foreheads similar to a Neanderthal and large nasal bones as well. The um, brow ridges are very, very large. They're the largest brow ridges of any known hominin or you know human relative. Um, there were 10 upper teeth that had cavities and pitting as well. The, this Broken Hill or Cabway One skull um, may date back to 500,000 years ago. In the same area where it was found, they found um, bones and remains of animals dating back to 500,000 years ago. Um, but it could be anywhere, so say from 300 to 500,000 years ago. Um, some actual dating was done on the skull, which led to a, a lower date. But in all likelihood, it probably does date to about 500,000 to half a million years ago. The cavities and pitting on the teeth were interesting in that they indicate that the individual had significant dental disease and infection, and the individual may have died from um, the dental disease, um, or possibly a chronic ear infection or some other infection. But um, the teeth were de definitely um, quite. Uh, damage with cavities and that could have been a major issue for the individual uh, whose skull this was. The Homo heidelbergensis, um, now they existed from about 700,000 years ago to 300,000 um, years ago. Uh, their remains have been found in South Africa, um, down there in Zambia and uh, other places, and also in East Africa. Um, there was a a Homo heidelbergensis skull, uh, the Bodo skull, found in Ethiopia that's been dated to 600,000 years ago. And also uh, Homo heidelbergensis remains have been found in Europe. Um, the Homo, Homo heidelbergensis have been found in Germany and England and Spain and other parts of Europe um, as well. Now it's possible that the European Homo heidelbergensis led to um, Neanderthals and Denisovans. Some DNA analysis has been carried out on some Homo heidelbergensis um, remains from Spain, uh, suggesting that they may be related to Denisovans and they may be related to Neanderthals. Um, the Homo heidelbergensis in Spain uh, may have originated from an earlier uh, form or hominin form called Homo. Homo antecessor as well, which may have been around about 800,000 years ago or so. Um, now, 
it's possible that in Africa, Homo heidelbergensis led to Homo sapiens and modern humans. Uh, the tricky thing here is there's a gap in the fossil record from about 400,000 to 260,000 years ago, which would um, you know, actually confirm whether uh, humans, modern humans, came from Homo heidelbergensis in Africa. Um, so at the moment it's difficult to determine whether Homo heidelbergensis were the common ancestors of um, Neanderthals and Denisovans and humans, but it is a, a possibility. The facial reconstructions uh, that have been carried out on the skulls for Heidel Homo heidelbergensis um, show that, that they do resemble he uh, modern humans um, you know, quite a lot. Um, it's also believed that they would have had language, um, they um, would have lacked these air sacs that more primitive um, primates have and the lacking of the air sacs would led led to you know vocal structures similar to what we have and so in all likelihood they probably did have language and um they also um built um permanent shelters and used fire as well so uh, they were uh, definitely similar very similar to us and in all likelihood um, could have been the ancestors of Neanderthals, Denisovans and modern humans today.